Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss about attributes that are used for mashup code and what is the function that is used to exchange data from external system to mashup. Before that, please go through my 40th video on mashup. Let's get started into the topic. Please go through 40th video where I have explained how to create a mashup and how to integrate into an external website so that you will understand more about this particular video. So normally for case type, if you go under integration, you can see generate mashup code. Once you click on this, you can have your case specific mashup code. Normally for HTML, we have head, body and footer. So in the same lines for mashup code, we have different attributes as well. So this is script tag. Once script tag is entered, we would be starting div tag. And after that, we have these things. These are automatically generated by Pega. So based on your business scenario, if you want to uh, explore more on mashup, so you should be knowing what are the different type of attributes we have in mashup that are supported by Pega. So if you see this structure, after script uh, in body tag, we would be writing JavaScript actions and we would be configuring those attributes. Now coming to mashup, once we have started div tag, we would be starting with mashup attributes, mashup action, action specific attribute and mashup event. So this is the sequence we have to follow while building your mashup code. Suppose you are having an action for uh, mapping values or uh, from one uh, website to another website, then you can add your script tag at the end as well. So in Pega, this mashup attributes, we are having four different types. One is basic, two is actions, third is event attributes, fourth one is for this action, there would be action specific attributes based on the business scenario you have to use. So what are the basic attributes? So data, Pega, gadget name. You can see here, data, Pega, gadget name would be Pega gadget. So in the entire mashup code, we would be referring this gadget name as Pega gadget. Next, data, Pega application name, thread name, what is this channel ID? So, uh, this particular channel ID, uh, now it is null, but if you have uh, different applications, you can uh, specific your channel ID and based on that, you can uh, use your functions and everything. And uh, data pega differ load, data pega resize type, target type, pop-up options. So this resize type is, we know that mashup means we are integrating our particular case management into external website. So based on their uh, resolution, you should be displaying your case type also. So based on that, you can configure this resize type also in your code. See, here it is defined as stretch. And if you give, want to give some uh, hard-coded value, for the size type you can give and target options so once you click on the link if you want to display your case uh, type in a pop-up means you have to give underscore pop-up otherwise if uh, it should be replaced with the same page means it should be current now what are the actions that you can perform using your mashup so these are the different actions that we can handle from mashup create new work means on click of something you want to create a new work object you can suppose you want to display some case data suppose you want to implement get next work and that you want to use in a mashup you can use that if you want to open an assignment work item work by handle work by url all these are supported actions that are available in pega that action you will be defining after basic attributes now for this action you would be having some more parameters like for uh, example you want to open a work item for that uh, work item you should pass some pyid right so in that scenario for that respect to opening an assignment or opening a work item you should pass some key that uh, keys are nothing but action specific attributes so here for this action 
we would be giving data pega action hyphen param hyphen class name display. This is one of the action specific attributes. So if you see a data hyphen pega hyphen, we would be giving this resource type. This is a basic uh, attribute. Now for this action, it requires uh, some data. Always you are trying to open a work object. Then for that, uh, you have to pass some keys. For that purpose, you are having this action specific attributes. Data pagan action param class name display hyphen model hyphen flow name harness name page name query key name display. So these are the action specific uh, attributes. Now, when you want to do some refresh or you want to get some data or you want to call some functions based on some events. We know that events means on click or on close or log off like that. So these are event attributes that are supported by Pega. Data Pega event on load, on before load, on confirm, on close, on Pega data, easy for load, on custom, on resize. These are the event attributes. So now we have covered attributes. What are the actions? And what are the action specific attributes? And what are the mashup events that are supported by Pega? So you would be uh, getting a scenario like you want to exchange data between host and target application. Then what is the function that you want to use? Okay. So for that we are given with one function called as pega.web.api.do action. This is the main function, OOTB function that is very helpful for us to exchange data from one uh, website to another website. Here also we have some actions which are uh, automatically sub uh, supported by Pega like load, refresh, reload, log off, get gadget data, set gadget data, get gadget info. These are the functions that are supported by Mashup while uh, we want to implement some exchange in the data. And normally if you want to get an uh, element value, then you should be giving page hyphen ID hyphen element ID. So suppose you have declared a text box of uh, name. You want to get the value of name that user has entered. So then you have to be giving page ID hyphen slash ID hyphen. Your element ID is nothing but name. Okay, suppose you want to uh, get the value of a JavaScript function that is evaluated in your script tag. Then you should be page function. What is the token? Token is nothing but the what is the attribute that you are giving for the result. Suppose you want to uh, do a property reference in the page of a JavaScript. It should be gadget hyphen gadget name hyphen property. So these are the syntaxes that are very helpful for us to implement our mashup based on our requirement. And this is property reference as a value of a gadget attribute or a parameter means attribute slash parameter equal to your dynamic value of a property reference. So these are the different uh, things we can achieve from mashup. So if you want to know more more details about uh, mashup, you can uh, go through this link i will be posting this particular link and uh, for this function right you have different parameters as well so parameters would be gadget name action name and uh, optional uh, user parameter to object and uh, parameters specific to an action that you have selected. And I have already told actions that are supported like a uh, log of load, refresh, get uh, gadget data, set gadget data, get gadget info so what is this get gadget data is suppose you are you have hosted a case type 
so on that get gadget data if you use this then if you want to get some value where the user has entered and that uh, value we have to post to the main application then you would be using get gadget data and you have hosted your application in a website a and that value what user has entered you want to use in your case step then you should be using set gadget data so this is the difference between get gadget data and set gadget data these are very helpful for us while we are exchanging data between host and target applications and uh, many of uh, the developers gets doubt like what is the function we use uh, for this authentication that is pago.web. API dot set authentication. Okay, this is one of the function that is uh, available in Pega, where you would be passing your uh, user identifier and password as a parameters uh, in lower environments. Suppose if you are implementing in SS moments, you have to give in like. Uh, Here you can see right data hyphen pega hyphen URL. If you want to give your SSO URL, you can give this directly. Hope you have learnt uh, more about Nashap attributes. Please go through this video multiple times and uh, note down about this particular sequence that you want to achieve from Mashup. And I would be posting. Uh, a video on live example of using these mashup attributes in future so that it will be very helpful for us to better understand this mashup attributes thanks for watching this video hope you understood this concept please share comment on this video if you like it and please subscribe to my channel as it is free of cost and you can listen more videos from me